smaller things, but that's sort of the, like, the overarching thing. Like, I want to change my life in 365 days so that on the 21st of August 2019, I can say that I changed my life for the better. 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 new insta story i guess I give the fans what they want all right hello lads how's it going luke here back at it again <sighs> ah. gotta get through the day somehow right 21st of august 2019 so that's that's 11 weeks I best get started on those goals, then hadn't I? Hey guys, Luke here. So for those of you who've been following me since August of last year, you may remember two videos about a self-improvement project that I created called Become Adult. Essentially, I wanted to look at my life and myself and remove negativity, become a better person and sort of become adult. And I just wanted to give an update on that, see where I am nearly a year later. So the first thing that I did in wanting to become a better person and a better adult was deleting Snapchat. Every morning I would wake up and I'd get this stream of messages. None of them would say, hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Have a great day. They'd all say streaks. I had it deleted and I planned on keeping it deleted, but when I moved to uni in September, I had to reinstall it because everyone in my flat made a group chat. And if I wanted to be kept in the loop, I needed the, the app, so I re I redownloaded it. So I still have it, as you can see, but I don't use it. Uh, I'm on ghost mode, and I don't message anyone on it. And when I move out of the flat where I am now, uh, I will delete it. I felt a lot better not having it, and I haven't had a streak with anyone since then. Um, I mean, I think I had like a three day one with my girlfriend at one point, but neither of us use it so I'm not gonna miss having it. Because honestly, it is one of the most toxic apps, in my opinion. Uh, it's just not good for anything, really. Uh, yeah. My second improvement that I set for myself was eating better. Now, I've always eaten quite well, and thankfully I don't put on too much weight from eating food, so I'm very lucky there. But when I do eat poorly, it makes my skin worse, so that was my intention, that was my motivation for wanting to eat better. Now in the original video I did mention that I had cheesecake for breakfast. This morning especially I had sort of this momentary lapse of judgement when I had cheesecake for breakfast. Uh, <laughs> which hasn't happened again, at least I don't think so. My meals at uni haven't been that easy to plan uh, because I've been part of catered accommodation so I don't get to choose what I have but I have eaten relatively healthily. For the first couple months of uni, I didn't eat lunch properly. Uh, I know that's not a good thing to do, but I'd only have breakfast and dinner, really, because uh, I couldn't afford lunch. But then I met my girlfriend, and she sort of forced me to have lunch. So I'm definitely eating better now because of her, so thank you. I have eaten things I probably shouldn't have, but everyone does that. Um, you know, like a pack of biscuits in one go or something. But Overall, I try to eat fruit and veg, uh, even when I'm cooking for myself, I will have veg on the side, um, and I've always loved fruit anyway, so. And from September onwards, when I move into the new place where I'll be living, uh, I'll be able to cook what I want, so I won't have any issues there. I then say that I want to exercise again, I say exercise because uh, when I made that video I'd gone running probably about five times, um, and I called that exercise. But since that video I haven't done a lot, um, moving to uni, and the new change of scenery, definitely. I was planning on going for regular runs around campus at least, but I was too nervous. But since I've been home, and I've been here for over a month now, uh, I've only been on a few runs, I've only got back, gotten back into it uh, recently, um, but I've enjoyed it. Uh, I only go for about a 10 to 20 minute run, um, because I don't want to push myself too much and hurt myself, but I'm enjoying it. Um, I just let the weather get to me sometimes, if it's bad, I'll use that as an excuse not to go, but I don't know. I might go for one today, we'll see. Now, for the rest of the video I talk about non-physical 
stuff that I want to improve on. I say that I want to listen to new music because I've realised I'm not really listening to enough new stuff. I'm listening to the same things over and over again. And I like to think that I've done that. Um, there's a playlist on Spotify called Weekly Discover, I think it's called, and I use that every week because it gets refreshed by Spotify and I just get to find new bands and artists that I like. Um, I do listen to a lot of mainstream stuff as well. Um, not, not a lot. I mean, a lot will come on on the radio and I'll be like, who's this? But um, I don't want to be that guy who's like, oh, I only listen to indie stuff because I really don't. I think like my most listened to artists of last year were like Shawn Mendes, Louis Capaldi, um, Dean Lewis. He's also pretty cool. I tend to listen to a lot of solo artists more than bands, but I have found some new stuff. Watching more movies was also something that I wanted to improve on, and I think that I have done that. Um, I do say in the video I'd like to watch a new film every day. I definitely haven't done that. I haven't even watched a film every day because sometimes I just don't want to. But being at uni and studying film and watching foreign films and older films has definitely opened my eyes to more. And uh, having a girlfriend who knows a lot about film uh, has given me new opportunities to see films that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Um, like I've seen Mamma Mia now and that's a good film, you can't persuade me otherwise. I then talk about minimising my wardrobe, and to be honest, that's not really something I needed to do. I'm not too sure where my head was at at that point. I think I threw away some clothes before I moved to uni, but if you know me, and especially my girlfriend will vouch for this, um, I don't have a lot of clothes. My wardrobe is pretty minimal. I sort of get what I'm saying. I don't, I don't buy a lot of clothes anyway. I don't buy a lot of anything, really, but... Um, I tend to just go for more simplistic clothes rather than branded clothing um, because that's just not for me really. But that is pretty much the entire video that I made um, a year ago. So yeah, I haven't done everything that I wanted to set out to do, but I think I've changed. Not too much, but enough. One thing that I never could have fathomed in that video is that I'd have a girlfriend because I was just a sad and lonely 19 year old back then. Whereas, you know, now at the old age of 20, I've learned a lot. Um, I know it hasn't been a year exactly, but I just wanted to make this. And yeah, it's still something that's in the back of my head, uh, this become adult thing. I've now realized how little, like, being an adult matters because, like, there's no, uh, there's no right time to do it. Uh, I think I'll end it there. That's pretty much all I have to say. I obviously haven't come that far because I'm still sat on the floor. Um, if you could see where you are right now, you're not even... I've had to pull one of my drawers out on my chest of drawers and sort of slide my camera on there because I don't have my big tripod here with me. I've only got my little gorilla pod um, and I, I wanted it at eye level instead of below or whatever. But thank you very much for watching. I've been Luke and I will see you very soon. Have a good day.